2015, the NCAA made a billion dollars from their deals with CVS and Turner that will last for eight more years and will allow the NCAA to profit at least $5 billion more. Well, more dollars. Um, CVS signed a 14-year, uh, 10-point billion contract in 2016. Obviously, the NCAA in college can pay each college athlete a little bit of money because without them, there will be no way for colleges and the NCAA to get paid. Thank you. We have already we have already we have already stated the fact that the NCAA makes a ton of money every year, but we haven't talked about how much time that and time and effort these athletes put into the sport that they love. Athletes spend at least 40 hours every week perfecting their sport, doing homework, and making their college look amazing. And the NCAA and the colleges act like their athletes are slaves to them. And they see the kids as easy money, and they don't have to do anything to get what they want. So that is why they bribe kids with the half ride or even a full ride of scholarship to enslave them for a few years. people from each college team will get to go pro and none, and none of the kids are able to get a job or money at college. So once all those kids so once all those kids don't go pro, where will they go? On average it takes a few months to get a job out of college. So now that is four years and a couple of months without making money while the NCAA and big colleges are pretty much set forever because of the hard work and dedication from the kids who just want to live out their dreams but they will soon realize that their dream has turned into a nightmare. Nineteen trillion. That is how much debt we are in. Our debt currently goes up by $49,000 per second, totaling up to $2.42 billion per day. Think of all the great things that we could do with that money. We could create new jobs focus on military and defense, and helping people that are starving and homeless. Something we should not do with that money is pay college athletes. College athletes should not get paid because we force the U.S. into more debt. Considering that we are in a lot of debt already, paying athletes would put our country into even more debt. Instead of paying athletes, we need to focus on things and people that would make a difference to this country. Another reason why athletes should not be paid is because colleges are already struggling for money because they have to pay their coaches, staff, and professors. We are to pay athletes, and programs that some students have a future and a successful career in will be cut. Our last main reason why college athletes should not be paid is because college athletes are not quite at the maturity level they need to be in order to handle that amount of money. <coughs> we even see professional athletes go broke after their first contract because they are not ready to handle that amount of much money responsibly. These are the reasons why college athletes should not be paid. First, we will prove to you that since the United States of America is already $19 trillion in debt, colleges have to up tuition prices just to pay off taxes. If colleges can't pay off taxes, how do we expect them to pay college athletes thousands of dollars when they can't even pay for a place of education? Michael Snyder quotes, We are now running deficits that are well over a trillion dollars each year with no one in sight. We are literally running out of people to borrow money from. He is saying we are in so much debt that we are running out of countries to borrow money from. Secondly, we will prove to you that since colleges are struggling for money, that they cut some programs and drop some teachers as well. Schools will give athletes money that the schools desperately need, and the athletes will go out and spend the money and when they don't know how to take care of the money in the first place. Education Connection quotes, teaching is important because this world's future could rely on what our children learn. It sounds like teachers, teaching is important, so if they drop teachers to save money, you could, this world could turn into a place that is dysfunctional and not know how to get close to even out of debt. 
Finally, we will prove to you that college athletes will spend their money and realize something that we all have done before. They will cash out. Many athletes will cash out early after going to the pros. College athletes are just not responsible enough to handle that large amount of money. And they will go bankrupt really fast. Sports Illustrated quotes, 78% of National Football League NFL players are either bankrupt or commit suicide within two years of retirement. And an estimate of 68% of National Basketball Association go bankrupt within five years after leaving their sport. What they are trying to get across is athletes will go bankrupt after their first year as a college athlete getting paid, especially if pro athletes can't even take care of their houses. What about the athletes that just aren't good enough? Do they get paid or do they just let them be? How would you feel if you weren't good enough and others were making thousands of dollars and you were making nothing out of it? How would you feel then? Our opponents say that the colleges are already struggling for money. But like Jalen's group had said, colleges make tons of money off of the March Madness tournament. And that is more than enough to pay athletes. And paying athletes will not put, in my opinion, paying athletes will not put the US in more debt because the athletes will get the money and then they will pay and they will buy stuff with that money rather than more putting the money into the economy. are barely paying for the programs on campus, so we should not require them to pay athletes. All is raising their tuition because they are struggling to pay for the program, so they should not be paying athletes while raising tuition for the non-athletes, so then the non-athletes will have to handle more student loan debt. Most athletes are already free of student loans because of scholarships, so we should not be paying them for any reason. points make us believe that the that college athletes should be able to receive some type of income from all the hard work that they have put in. All the ad revenue that they they make for the NCAA and the CBS and all the college merchandise they sell only for the benefit of the college. Kids don't have time for a low paying job while they are in college. Also the NCAA and big colleges both get a ton of money. The NCAA and big colleges both need to reevaluate their crooked business and re realize how hard these kids work for them and how little they get in return. College athletes should not be paid because the U.S. is already in debt. And paying these college athletes would force us into even more debt. Another reason why is because most colleges are already struggling for money, and this can make them go into even more debt. Third and final reason is 
a major risk of spending all their money and even dropping out of college. College athletes should not be paid, as the NCAA says, it would just be too much money to pay all 460,000 plus athletes, and that is just in the NCAA. Cam Newton's story, his dad a priest, wanting his son to go to Auburn so his dad could get paid $25,000 and 50,000 if his son went to Mississippi State. Is this really what our nation has turned into? That's why we are here today to persuade you to make a statement that we've heard before from Donald Trump to make America great again.